Thanks, have a good ride. Okay, here we go. Start of the Lifetime Grand Prix Series today. Sea Otter Classic, we're doing the Fuego XL, which is two 32 something point something mile laps with like 3,900 feet of climbing per lap, or no, 34, 500 feet of climbing per lap. Maybe it's 39, I think it's 3,900 feet of climbing per lap. I got out for pre-ride on Wednesday with Finsty and Alexi Vermeulen and we did like a two and a half hour lap. So the race is probably gonna be right around four, four hours, maybe quicker, I'm not sure. So then Thursday was the first day of Expo, so doing a lot of tent time in the venue. Preaching the gospel of bicycle shipping to all unsuspecting folks that walk by, handing out swag. Did the same thing yesterday, and now it's Saturday. Race starts at 9 a.m., so woke up this morning, had cereal in bed, which is actually a first for me. Trader Joe's cinnamon squares, or whatever they're called, are not nearly as good as Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Made some bottles. I aimed for right around a little over 100 grams per bottle. I got four bottles bigger on four hours and then I'll also have two never second gels per hour so I should be dialed on carbs never second gels are 30 grams of carbs per gel should be adequately fueled out there and now we're here in the van heading up to the venue we're late people are not respecting the seven o'clock departure time come on Gordon you got your wristband yeah I got two this is a hundred dollar wristband. It's like no wonder people just like come in with empty bags and just get all the swag they can get. Yeah. Dude, they were handing these out at the exit yesterday. They're like, chicken protein. Chicken in a bag. Chicken in a bag, chicken chips. Will 13 de, grams of protein. Will de, will de protein chips. Three ingredients, chicken breast, egg white, chicken broth. I don't know how it gets hard, but it does. <laughs> Has anybody ever said that to you? Man, it's a miracle. Are you riding to the feed? I think that's the best way to get there. Yeah. Michael is my first feed right by the start finish in the raceway. Okay. Gordon is my way out yonder feed. Him and Barry are gonna be holding it down out there. God, this is a... Dude, cut it hard, you got room. I can now? Yeah, you can. Because they got a rack on the back. Well, you got room. <laughs> Dude, it looked like it was like a hit. Definitely drinking as soon as I woke up. Another day of dealing with assholes. <laughs> Gordon was not referring to the people that walked by the tent. <laughs> <laughs> He was pretending to be a parking attendant. <laughs> uh, okay, it's shammy time, and then I'm gonna see you at the race.
type in Monterey or... Holy moly, that was hard. I got a burrito and a bubbly. I ended up 13th today, which I'm pretty happy about. I left literally everything in my body out on the course. Here, put those bottles in here. You got another bottle? No, let's oh. So we're breaking down. Finally leaving the venue. I am shattered. Four hour and 15 minute XCO race. It went full gas from the start and it never let up. See you guys back at the hotel? Okay. I didn't have the best start coming off the line. I mean, like I did what I could, but it was just like 1,000 watts until we hit the single track, which was like more than I could do. Yeah, then I kind of just settled in and I knew it was gonna be a four hour plus race. So I just did my best to be smooth, jump up in the groups. I knew people were gonna blow up and people did. Kind of hovering in the second chase group in 13th place all day. And then on the second lap is when things really got, that's when things really started to, to shatter, including me. Started to feel like twingy and crampy coming up the last climb, but but I held it off, so 13th on the day, and then when you take the people that are not in the Lifetime Series out, I might have made it even into 10th place in the Lifetime Series, which is cool, top 10 in the first round, so a good starting spot, room for improvement, but yeah, I'm happy with that. So the next one is Unbound in about a month and a half. Train at home for about a month and then do the Transylvania Mountain Bike Epic, five day mountain bike stage race in central Pennsylvania. That ends the Saturday before Unbound. And then the next Saturday is on. So something tells me I'm gonna be doing a lot of riding over the next month. I hope I am because that race is gonna be probably just as fast, but twice as long. Sea Otter ends tomorrow. Hey, this guy. <laughs> hey. 